So I'm going to do one more here, maybe one or two more uh, to just help you watch me do it again. But the goal today is just to practice this whole process. So I'm going to start us off by doing a times c. So in this case, that's 3 times negative 5. And I just like to do it right here after the side, draw my t-chart. So ACT, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And then we put that on top of our t-chart. Now, um, you, this part gets a little bit faster. If you can find the pair we're looking for sooner rather than later, then don't waste your time listing all the factors. So for example, negative 1 and 15 do not add up to negative 2, right? So like, I, I kind of knew that. Why I bothered to write it down? Uh, no need. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's try, how about negative 3 and 5? You're like, oh, that's it, Mr. Grouch. Mm, that's not quite it. Because negative 3 plus 5 adds up to a positive 2. Negative 3 plus 5 adds up to positive 2. So if we're close, if we're really, really close, we want a negative 2, then all we have to do is switch the signs. Negative 5 and positive 3. This is our, our, the one we want. That one's going to add up to a negative 2 when we add them together. Okay, so now we've got our, our two middle terms. So what we do is we rewrite. Our first term stays the same, so 3p squared. Our last term stays the same, so minus 5. But the two middle terms, remember these are, this was a p term, so it's going to be p's in the middle, are negative 3, excuse me, negative 5. I'm going to mess that up. Negative 5p plus 3p. Negative 5p plus 3p. So now we take our four terms, we draw our squiggle, split them down the middle, so that we can look at just one side at a time. Sorry about that, mic fell down. So once we've got our um, squiggle down the middle, we're gonna divide, so I'm gonna draw my division just like that. And then once we've got that, let's look and see, hmm, what are the GCFs here? This one's kind of interesting. The only thing that 3p squared and 5p have in common are a 1 and a p. And the only things that 3p and negative 5, you might say, well, Mr. Gardner, they don't have anything in common. And you'd be right. So when there's nothing in common, it's a 1. So if I draw my GCFs out front, 1p in front of the parentheses, Another parenthesis, whoops, I forgot the one. One, all right, my GCFs are out front. If I divide, all I'm left with here is 3p minus 5. And again, when you divide by 1, nothing happens, 3p minus 5. Our binomials are the same, which is exactly what we want. And so we can bring our, create our new answer, our new answer. And remember, our new answer are the GCFs first, so P plus 1. Those are my two GCFs. It's, everything's color-coded here, so be careful. Watch, check for the color coding, P plus 1. And then the repeat binomial, 3P minus 5. There we go. There's our new, our factored form um, using the AC method. So you'll see it's still, I still did all six steps, but it, you can start speeding it up a little bit and start moving it along. Okay, so I want you to try one on your own now. This is the point where I want you to give one um, a decent effort. See, try number two and then come back and see um, if you got the same answer as me. Press pause and give it a shot. All right, so you can see here on the right-hand side, I ended up with n plus 3 times 2n minus 3. And um, my steps are there, so you can see how I did the ACT, and then I found my GCFs, divided them out, got that same binomial twice, and then brought them together. All right, one more example on the next video, and then we'll be done for today.